Burnley did well. Obviously, what are your takeaways from the win? Uh, it's a bit of a relief, but it's um, it's probably how we did it. Um, but we had a plan, you know. They, I think they had 22 listed AFL players playing today, uh, which is um, which is quite significant, you know, um, for our players. And I think the depth of the challenges that we've had this week in regards to James Cousins, you know, going down and missing the rest of the year. He's probably one of our best players. We've got Pulse and our captains done for the year through hamstring. Mellington through COVID. You know, Tom Downey did his hamstring in the uh, in the warm up. You know, so they're probably four of our most important players from a, a structure and a um, you know a functioning point of view. And we had a bunch of young men out there that actually followed a plan and, and competed and got a got a really strong win for our club. Um, so I'm over the moon from that point of view that they were able to dig in and and play the way that we wanted to and they stuck to a plan against a really good opposition. Yeah, the forward line did really well as well. It's hard to have three and I think Koichi had two as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. look, I think that the way we structured up ahead of the ball was always going to you know, allow us to you know, get some pretty good scoring opportunities. It was just getting the ball there and um, you know, the game was filled full of stoppages and contests and it was a really high stoppage game and a contest game. So we just had to take our chances. Look, we, we had our chances late too, where we could have buried him, but uh, we kept him in the game by missing opportunities. But like I said, it's it's a relief that we can, you know, we get result because our players were, were showing us pretty good effort. We probably should be three wins, but unfortunately we, we kick ourselves out of it last, the week, last week and against where we had our chances. So, you know, I don't think, you know, the, the latter might suggest that we're not going well, but I think we're, as a group, we're starting to build and, um, you know, we get a few troops back next week, hopefully. Yeah, so we also had uh, two debutants today in Brook and Lever. How did you kind of see their games today? Oh, no, Lever, I think you just have to watch the way he goes about his football. He's a little hard nut. Um, you know, he's an inside, contested, you know, strong tackling player. And um, he, he added to what we needed from him on the day to, to get the win. So he's a, yeah, he's a little beauty. He's um, only a young man, but he's, he's got a lot of competitiveness about him so I was, I was really happy with him and and um, and Cook you know coming into the team with a minute to go um, Tom hurt himself in the warm-up which is unfortunate and um, you know I think that um, you know for him to come in and, and, and give us give us a contest and and do what he needed to do was um, was, was really strong so I was really happy for him as well nice. and we got Frankston next week in another, another double header kind of what are your focus is going into that game well just Build some momentum now, you know. Like it's, um, I, I'd hate to think that we, you know, that we, we look at this game and go, well, it's a relief, and we, you know, we just, um, you know, don't move on from what we need to do, and you know, and that's we need to move on really quickly and, and think about what's coming up, and um, it's going to be no easy assignment. You know, Frankston have improved and they're a good club and they coach well, so. We need to we need to be on our ball and we need to um, you know it's it's good that we've got another home game because I think we play our best football here and if they play like that we'll um, yeah we'll get a good opportunity.